Hey there, I'm Box Set Music Guy, uh, also known as Scott, and I am here to talk about box sets of vintage, oldish uh, vinyl, cassettes, CDs. Uh, I personally collect a lot of, as you can see behind me, um, Longines Symphonette Society box sets. Uh, back here I have all of my uh, Columbia and Capital and RCA sets and then down below are all of my uh, Reader's Digest box sets and if you see one facing front it's one of the newer ones I've recently acquired but believe me there are box sets hiding behind those so today I wanted to as my inaugural video um, look at a really interesting old very, very early uh, Longines Symphonette Society box set I recently got my hands on. It is called uh, Gems of Music, and it is actually 7-inch vinyl, not shellac, 7-inch vinyl that plays at 78. And it's the Longines Symphonette and the Wittenauer Coraliers. Most of you who are into box sets probably already know the Longines Symphonette uh, played was an orchestra formed as backdrop for radio programming uh, very early on in the 40s for the Longines Wittenauer uh, radio show and uh, the Wittenauer Coraliers were the singing group that would occasionally make an appearance with the Longines Symphonette. Early on the uh, records that were put out by the Symphonette were um, on other labels I think there's some harmony out there um, I know they did some early things with Columbia and um, then later formed their own record label and started doing their own pressing as uh, the Longines Symphonette Society and they had their fingers in all sorts of pies they did clocks and lighting and record players and radios and calculators at one point and um, also an entire series of sterling silver collectible coins that you can collect many dozens of these very unique coins. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the vinyl box sets. Um, I have at least 80, uh, pretty close to what I understand is the whole catalog as they stopped producing in the mid 70s. And we'll talk about that in another video. The uh, Gems of Music set is five 7 inch 78 RPM records. Really nice looking little records. Great artwork on the sleeve. Uh, Michelle Piastro was the music director for Longines Symphonette at the time. This was put out uh, much later in the early 70s. Montovani took over. Uh, the, the Symphonette uh, after Michel Piastro passed away. I believe it was a heart attack, um, 1970 or 71. So these wonderful little 7 inch LPs are really great brightly colored vinyl. I don't know if you can see the color of that. And then the each one is double-sided and they're numbered for stacking which means that you can stack them all up and put them on a record changer and they will drop and play one by one but the interesting thing is on the back of the little label it says that they recommend manual changing not stacking so why they numbered them for stacking I don't know but this five disc set is actually about the same size as a standard LP. There's about 30 minutes, 35 minutes worth of music on them. Great colored vinyl. Each one is a little different and I think that's where they came up with the gems of music idea. That each one is a gem. This one's a little hard to read. It's sort of a blue cobalt blue and then this great orange and I've seen other Longines records uh, there's an early opera and operetta 
record uh, that's a 12 inch in this color. I don't have it yet, but I will someday. I'm a, a huge completist. I have to have every, if I'm gonna have any of it, I have to have all of it. So I have been building my collection since about 2005. So that would be about uh, 16, 15, 16 years. And each one of these box sets has something unique and different to offer. Um, lots of easy listening, lots of uh, orchestral and instrumental, which really appeals to me. And the neat thing about the Longine Symphonette Society is it's music you won't find anywhere else. It's the symphonette. They recorded 98% of the music, and then um, the Wittenauer Choraliers made vocal appearances on many of them. Also, um, with the, for example, the Bing Crosby set that was introduced in 1966 and then reintroduced in 1968. We'll talk more about that later because they had to reissue it with more Bing Crosby on it. Um, the Symphonette in London recorded the music. The tracks were then sent to the West Coast and Bing recorded the vocal tracks and they were then inter intermixed and it was sent out as uh, his set, The Songs I Love. And you can see, I think a few of his tracks and uh, the, the little vinyl, it's called a flexi disc record that I posted a video of, search for the Bing Crosby flexi disc. Because it's, it tells about the set. Um, and then it also has some really great cover artwork by George Gross. So my uh, Discogs handle is B-Light, B-E-E-L-I-G-H-T. You can find me there, friend me, um, see my want list, see my collection list. And then um, I also have started a happy little group on Facebook called the Vintage Vinyl Box Set Enthusiasts. And that group is box set lovers and collectors of everything from rock and roll to the highest of uh, audiophile classical music. We have members from all over the world and would love you to join us on Facebook in our group, Vintage Vinyl Box Set Enthusiasts. So now we are going to take a few minutes and here are some songs that are on this Gems of Music. Longines Symphonette and Wittenauer Choraliers set so that you can get a taste of what they have. There's uh, 10 tracks, two, uh, one per side, two per record, and uh, again, 78 RPM, but on vinyl, not shellac. So uh, here we go with some uh, tunes that you'll hear on these records. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, at 78, it, it sounds a little. It could be. It could have more depth, but still great fun. Um, I believe this set is super early because it is um, 
marked LW106 through 10... Whoa, 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 let's see, what was the number I found on it? Uh, oh, sorry, L -O LW, which I assume means Longines Wittenauer, 109 through 116. So I'm thinking LW101 or 100 was the first album, and I believe that set is the Love and Romance set. I uh, read somewhere earlier today that that could very well be the, the very first Longines Symphonet set ever issued. Um, I think that there we'll go into some of the really early sets in another video but um, these were then just a little bit before some of the 100 anniversary albums by the Symphonette that were um, early recordings before the real box set program that they started doing totally took off um, future videos I hope to do will include uh, if, uh, ephemera with um, printed materials, scans, and artwork of the box sets and other things for every box that I have, including tons of Time Live. I have um, well over 250 Reader's Digest box sets. Kind of crazy, I know, but someone has to have them. And uh, then also some of my favorite sets are my RCA stereo sets that were often given away with uh, console stereos as gifts, for gifts for a purchase of a stereo. So thank you for joining us. Check out Vintage Vinyl Box Set Enthusiasts on Facebook and check out our videos of flexi discs and other uh, wonderful details and things about uh, box sets and join our group. We love to chat about all this great music that's hiding in these boxes that seem to languish on, languish on the shelves of stores a lot. And I, I think if more people knew some of the good stuff that's in these, uh, they, would, they would take home more, rehome more of these box sets. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again real soon.